Yeah, they're going to be in their typical 4-3-3. We'll see two changes from their game last week. Tafari will slip into that center back spot for Ibiaga. Yeah, and they're going to be in a 4-2-3-1. Loads of experience in that center back position with Mvenga and Casiras. Brugman will sit deep. Delgado will push forward and help join into the attack. No they met twice last year. FC Dallas winners in both games. We'll see how it plays out over the next 90 minutes tonight. First touch of the ball by FC Dallas is Paxton Pomacol. And off we go with a long diagonal. That type of ball and run in behind for Ferrer is going to be on. And it's a giveaway here by Alvarez. And it's played quickly by Farfan. And it's on the right foot of Jesus Ferreira. And he hits the post. See, Dallas have had the best attacks tonight. But LA Galaxy have thrust forward a couple of times as well. Brugman. Brugman in midfield. Trying to combine with Jovalich. Now Brugman picks it up in the area. Say pass. Raheem Edwards getting forward. He will push up from left back. It's a good ball in space and a shot from outside the box and driven wide. Brugman. Gaston Brugman's had a shot on target tonight. Edwards on the left side. Pooch. Stepped away from Surreal. Overlapped by Leardham. Ball to him from Alvarez. Smashed across the face of goal and it's deflected in. Leardham's cross has found the back of the net. Whether or not it's off a Galaxy player or an own goal is still to be determined, but it is a goal. LA Galaxy in front, 1 0, 35th minute of the game. From the left side back to the right, Alvarez then finds Leardham, who just rifles the ball across the front of the goal, and Poss can't keep a hold of it. It's difficult from that angle to see if it does come off of Poss initially. Yeah, in the end, it does. Well, it's a good goal, and we knew the challenge for LA Galaxy throughout the layoff by Jovalich picked up. By Efrain Alvarez. Now to Rodriguez. Edwards running right in front of him. He'll pick this ball up on the move. Take the shot. And it's beaten away by Martin Poss. Out. And they're shaking off the rust. This is their first game of the season. Came in here. Held on tightly after giving up some opportunities. And got a go-ahead goal themselves off a really good play in circulation possession. Ariola reaches this ball from Cerillo. Now Bonas had a goal and it's smashed in. Right at the end of the half. FC Dallas has scored. It's Alan Velasco. And it just happened right now at a most inopportune time. Yeah, and it's a, it's a huge goal for FC Dallas. And I had just spoke about Velasco getting more involved. Production in the final third. Great work from Ariola to keep this ball alive. Velasco, the late runner, coming in. But it's the big ball over the top that puts this LA Galaxy team in the position. The ball was dummy by Ferreira, and Leggett has it in space. Leardham is back defending against Velasco. More numbers dropping in behind the ball. Ariola leaps for the header, so does Edwards. This falls right in front of goal for Jesus Ferreira. He's got his first of 2023, and FC Dallas leads 2-1. A recognition of where the space is. Just takes his first touch away to buy himself a little bit more time. They don't get tight. LA Galaxy defense allows him to play that ball over to Ariola. And what Determination every time now that FC Dallas latches onto possession to drive numbers forward and hit LA Galaxy on the counterattack. Pomacall overlapped by Tumasi. Pomacall driving centrally, slips a nice ball into Ferreira, and Ferreira off the inside of the post has made it two against the LA Galaxy for the second time in as many seasons. And the lead is two for FC Dallas at home, 64 minutes into the game. The back line. And he receives it again, gets inside, and then watch a little run from Ferrer, just times it. No idea from Mavinga that he's on the Ball put in play here by Mavinga. And Brugman lost it. And it's 3v2 right now for FC Dallas. Legit with Ferreira on his right, Velasco on his left. He picks out the pass to Ferreira, setting on a hat trick. And he drives one over and into the crowd beneath the National Soccer Hall of Fame. Here's a nice run by Preston Judd. Well-timed run. Making Good. himself bigger, so in my opinion, the right no call. Giovanni Jesus, the 22 from Brazil, just got his first touch. Oh, and pooch, wow. And I think you can make the point, too, if FC Dallas showed up the way they did against Minnesota, a bit more methodical. Yes, it's a different game, but they wouldn't have this same result, right? And it is a result now. There wasn't as much extra time added on with that Daniel Aguirre injury.